Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a topic that keeps many of us up at night. You know those moments when you're lying in bed and your mind just won't shut off. We all have something that weighs heavy on our hearts and keeps us tossing and turning. So, what is it that you're worried about? Let me ask you a different question. What keeps you up at night? Is it the fear of not being able to pay your bills or the overwhelming college debt that's been piling up? Maybe you're anxious about finding a job after graduation or worried about losing the job you currently have. Perhaps thoughts of affording a comfortable retirement haunt you. Or maybe it's something more personal, like an aging parent's health or the outcome of the next doctor's appointment. And for parents, it's natural to worry about the safety of your kids when they step out of the house. For some, it's the desire to make a meaningful difference in this world. So, what is it that you're worried about? Do you have it? The reason I ask is because what we worry about the most often reveals where we trust God the least. It's an interesting concept that Jesus himself emphasized. You see, Jesus clearly defines the problem and teaches us that the things we are most devoted to are the very things that determine what we worry about. Surprisingly, when Jesus taught on worry, he started by addressing the topic of money. It's because, let's face it, a lot of people worry about money. We fear running out of it, believing that we'll run out of life before we run out of money. But Jesus has this remarkable way of putting things into perspective. He pulls us back from our money-centric concerns and reminds us that life is about more than just material possessions, careers, and retirement plans. Now, don't get me wrong. These things are important, but Jesus challenges us to consider if they define our entire existence. He poses the question, isn't life more than clothing, more than a job, more than retirement? Jesus reminds us that life encompasses a broader perspective. So, here's the real issue. Do you trust in your heavenly Father? You see, worriers express little to no confidence or faith in God's willingness and ability to take care of them. In Psalm 62, verses 7 and 8, the psalmist speaks of a trustworthy God. He declares that his salvation and honor depend not on himself but on God. God is his mighty rock and refuge. The psalmist encourages us to trust in God at all times, pouring out our hearts, worries, and fears to him. Why? Because God is our refuge. The psalmist understands the truth that God is trustworthy. It's not just about what he does, but who he is. He is deserving of our confidence. Yet, despite this truth, many of us struggle with trusting God fully. We hold on to our worries because deep down, we don't trust that God will come through for us. We fear that he will let us down, that he doesn't have good plans for us, or that he wants to make our lives difficult. In our attempt to take control, we become obsessed with worrying, believing that if we worry enough, we can change our circumstances and make everything better. But the truth is, our struggle to control every aspect of our lives pulls us away from the God who is everlasting. So, how do we break free from this cycle of worry and control? We need to submit ourselves to God's care and trust Him as our Father. We need to give our worries to God and acknowledge that anxiety is simply us trying to be God in an area of our lives where we know we are not God. It's time to let go and give it to God, surrendering our fears and concerns to Him. You might be thinking, but I don't understand. I don't understand why I should trust God with my worries. Well, the truth is, God understands. Even when we don't comprehend our circumstances, God does. Jesus invites us to come to Him when we're weary and burdened. He promises to give us rest. When we work for Him and trust Him, He lightens our load. He is humble and gentle at heart. And by finding rest in Him, our souls find true peace. You see, our anxiety is often rooted in the fear of what might happen. Most of our worries stem from thoughts that are based on untrue assumptions. Mark Twain once said, I have had many troubles in my life, most of which never happened. Worry is the absence of trust, and when we worry, we are essentially saying, God, you can't be trusted in this situation. But worry is not the path to peace. It only drains our faith and hope. Worry is like a rocking chair. 
It keeps us occupied, but takes us nowhere. The good news is that we serve a trustworthy God. He is faithful, not because our lives are problem-free, but because He is present in our lives. Our God has been faithful to us in the past, in our moments of uncertainty, and He will continue to be faithful to us. So, why do we worry so much? We get fixated on the uncertainties of tomorrow, forgetting to keep our eyes fixed on our loving Heavenly Father. But let me ask you this, don't you believe that in the tomorrow you have no control over, God will take care of you? Our God is trustworthy, and His faithfulness extends into the future. So, instead of allowing worry to consume us, let's place our trust in Him. Give it all to God, for He cares about you. Your worries, your fears, pour them out to Him. Trust that He will guide and provide for you. Remember, there's no greater freedom than discovering that you're not God, and that's okay. Jesus, who is God, understands the stress that comes with life. He invites us to find rest in Him, to trust Him with our worries and fears. As we conclude today's video, I want to encourage you to reflect on this message. If you find yourself overwhelmed with anxiety, ask yourself where you're not trusting Jesus. Surrender your worries to Him and let His peace fill your heart. Trust that God will be faithful in your life, just as He has been in the past. Now we discuss the power of faith. We all experience worry and anxiety at some point, but what if I told you that faith can be the key to overcoming these struggles and finding true peace? In this video, we'll explore the role of faith in our lives and discover how it can help us navigate through worries and uncertainties. So let's embark on this journey together. Faith, often associated with religion, goes beyond religious boundaries. It's a fundamental aspect of our human experience, a deep trust or confidence in something greater than ourselves. Faith can provide a sense of hope, purpose, and direction when we're faced with worry and doubt. But how exactly does faith help us overcome our worries? To understand the power of faith, let's break it down into three key aspects. First, faith gives us a perspective beyond our immediate circumstances. When we're consumed by worry, our vision becomes narrow, focusing solely on the problems at hand. But faith widens our perspective, reminding us that there is a bigger picture, a divine plan at work. It enables us to see beyond the present challenges and trust that there is a purpose behind it all. Second, faith provides us with strength and resilience. Life is filled with uncertainties, and worries can easily drain our energy and leave us feeling overwhelmed. However, faith empowers us to tap into a source of inner strength, a strength that goes beyond our own capabilities. It's the belief that we are not alone in our struggles, that there is a guiding force supporting us every step of the way. Finally, faith offers us a refuge of peace. In the midst of our worries, finding peace can seem like an impossible task. But faith allows us to surrender our concerns to a higher power, trusting that we are being held and protected. It's a surrender that brings a profound sense of peace, knowing that we don't have to carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. Now, you might be wondering, how can we cultivate and strengthen our faith? It starts with nurturing a relationship with the divine, whatever that means to you. Whether through prayer, meditation, or connecting with a spiritual community, investing time in our faith helps it grow and flourish. Additionally, embracing a mindset of trust is essential. Just as worry is the absence of trust, faith is the embodiment of it. We need to consciously choose faith over fear, reminding ourselves of the times when things worked out even when we couldn't see a way. By focusing on these moments and anchoring ourselves in gratitude, our faith can be fortified. Lastly, surrounding ourselves with supportive and like-minded individuals can strengthen our faith journey. Being part of a community that shares our beliefs and values allows us to learn from and support one another. It provides a space for encouragement, inspiration, and collective growth. So, let me ask you, are you ready to embrace the power of faith in your life? Are you willing to trust in something greater than yourself? Surrender your worries and find peace. It's a journey that may have its ups and downs, but the rewards are immeasurable. As we conclude this video, 
I encourage you to reflect on the role of faith in your own life. Take a moment to consider how faith can help you overcome worry and find the peace you've been searching for. Embrace the power of faith and let it guide you on your journey. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Remember, have faith, let go of worry, and embrace the peace that awaits you. Until next time, stay blessed.